We want to create fractions. We want to actually, we can't combine these as they are written right now. But if I write these in terms of sines and cosines, this would be 1 over cosine squared of x plus 1 over sine squared of x. Actually, having them as fractions actually helps me because I now I can combine them to get, and all I got to do is combine them just by attaining a common denominator, right? Because if I can combine them, I'm going to get rid of the addition sign. So therefore, hopefully, I can make it look like the right side, right? So to get common denominators, I mean, this is something, again, not our first, not our first time we've discussed this. Need to multiply by sine squared of x times sine squared of x. Cosine squared of x times cosine squared of x. And now you can see that we have our common denominator. So I'll just write sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x all over the product of sine squared of x times cosine squared of x. Does anybody recognize anything that's kind of interesting? Well, close. We want to still show some more steps. What is that? Pythagorean identity, right? Okay, and again, we're looking for secant cosecant. Well, what's one over sine squared? What's one over sine? Cosecant. What's one over sine squared? Co 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 cosecant squared. One over cosine secant. One over cosine squared is. Secant squared x. OK. Now, that is the same as that. Now, does it matter that the orders switch around? Just 3 times 4, 4 times 3? No. So you don't need to go back and switch them around, guys. Bless you. That's fine. OK? But you guys can see I stayed on one side, right? I showed each step, and I kept on applying all my identities till I got the exact same on the left side as it was on the right side. Yes? Sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. So written right to there under Pythagorean. You will be provided, so you don't need to memorize it, but it is good to make sure you get used to recognizing that. All right? Preguntas.